everyone and welcome back for another video or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Sarah Marks. I'm a multi-genre author of romance, fantasy, and horror books. And as an independent author, I am responsible for all my expenses from writing, editing, publishing, marketing my books. I am trying to make this profitable and thus new ways are happening to budget and save all my money. I'm hoping my experiences can help other authors and some creative entrepreneurs figure out how to spend their money. And if you want to support me, the best way to do that is to go in the description below and find links to my books in the genre of your choice. There are three. Or go to my Etsy store, buy the paperback, stickers, savings challenges, if you really just want savings challenges. Today, I'm going to do my September business update. Uh, this doesn't get a lot of attention, but I like to do it because I like to talk about my business and half of this channel is about the money and half of this is about the decision making. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around. It's time to release the word Kraken. All right, I'm glad you stuck around. There's a little bit to talk about and um, I'm ready to get into it. So what should you know before you get started uh, watching this video? Um, I've been having fun making videos. So <laughs> there, you've probably heard this a couple times if you've been watching all my videos. I am a part-time indie author. I have a full-time job that takes care of my bills, my savings, health insurance, retirement, etc. It also does fund the publishing but I am trying to make this profitable. It is not. And at this point, I just want to break even. I just want to be able to put aside enough ahead of time to pay for these books and then start making enough on the books or other content creation platforms to make the books happen without depleting my savings and racking up more credit card debt. So when I share business decision type videos or business updates, I'm sharing my decision making process in order to do this so that I can raise that income as I go. With that, let's talk about what's going on and what has happened and what's going to happen in September slash October. We'll start with the fantasy and horror content. I am going to be serializing my next books, all of them. This will be online exclusive and early access through a system called Ream. Now, if you've done Patreon, you already understand the concept of a subscription platform. Ream is one geared to authors, created by authors, consumed and used by authors. This will function ever so slightly different from Patreon, but it is a platform that I am experimenting with this is where we will start with Harshug. That is H-A-R-S-U-G. It has a meaning, I promise. All of mine do. They're weird words that I make up, but they have a meaning in the book. Uh, but this will be the one we start with. And the ream is currently open. I will put a link in the description below so that you can follow or maybe subscribe. There are three tiers. There, all three of the tiers will allow you to read two chapters a month when it gets started. And uh, depending on your tier, you might get bonus content. It depends on the bonus content. Um, but you can follow without paying anything. And this is something that um, I like better here than Patreon in concept. I also do have a Patreon for my romance stuff. We'll get there. Um, you can follow and engage through the following. And what will be available to people who simply follow, it'll function somewhat like a newsletter. And I do have a newsletter, you can subscribe to it. But I will be posting the free audiobooks when they come up. I will be giving away the audiobooks when they come up, giving away copies of the ebooks uh, for the subscribers. But the audiobooks are on YouTube, so you'll be able to listen to them for free. I'll just be posting about them here. I do monthly update videos about what's going on in that 
subgenres, and it's a little more in depth than this one. So um, you'll get all of that content here, including a book club that we are starting. I'm very excited about it. I will be posting more soon. We are not reading my books. We are reading horror and fantasy books, depending on what is going on. So probably a little more horror for the next year. Uh, Harshug is the next book. That's probably going to be ready in October. My editor has sent it back to me. She loved it. She was very happy. I'm excited. I just haven't had the time to get into the edits because I've been struggling with the other thing I'm working on, which we will get to. But I have to order the cover uh, and I'm going to be recovering. If you've seen my cover discussion video from the end of August, you know, uh, I'm recovering the two previous books, Crowlack and Bribery with this one so they all sort of matchy match and you know they're part of a series i have to do that the big other thing this month is barnes and noble uploads i will be uploading the three books under the sr marks pen name actually the four books under the sr marks pen name to barnes and noble that is crowlack made up word Frybray made a word help wanted new devil which is my the beginning of my fantasy series the enduring series and um hashtag rescue me a short story collection um this is all one universe secret secret the, these are all connected everything's everything's connected in my universes including the romantic comedies now that's another story all together for another day so those are all going up in barnes and noble this month fingers crossed and i have to check in with my audiobook narrator to make sure she's made the changes i've asked and the help wanted new devil audiobook will be available for sale uh, and if you join patreon i've joined ream you will probably be getting it for free if you this is not just the follow you have to actually subscribe and pay fee so you'll get an audiobook for free out of it let's talk rom-com austin's coming out of au yeah uh this is probably not news if you watched my video about the difference between wide and kindle unlimited and the decision i have made Right now, as I am recording this, only Unraveling Carrie Woodhouse has been removed for Kindle Unlimited. So the first four are in Kindle Unlimited still. They will be, I think, until the middle of October. That's when it, I, I explained in that video, every three months I have to sort of re-up. It automatically happens, but I went through and I told them I will not be returning these books to KU. Can I change my mind? Absolutely. Is it easy? Absolutely not. But I can change my mind if I find there's just too much loss, even though I am making less money in Kindle Unlimited right now. So that will be happening over the next few months. I am doing a fiber fest in a few weeks. I'm really excited about this one. If you know my romantic comedy books, the fifth one in the series is a modernization of Jane Austen's Emma. Think Clueless. Think Clueless. <clears throat> I wrote it. It's about knitting. It's about knitters and knitting and yarn and crocheters and crocheting and fiber art and all of that. It's the only, there's only one written review on Amazon because there's, it's, it's the fifth book in a series that there are any written reviews is a delight. But her first line is, this is a book for knitters. Yes. Yes, it is. So I'm taking it to the Fiber Festival. The whole series is coming, but I'm taking it to the Fiber Festival for Fiber people to get access to. And I'm really excited because I may or may not have an addiction to yarn and no money to spend on it. So we'll see how I do. And sweeten up Ginny Darcy. I'm just going to initial that. Uh, this is the book, the sixth book in my 21st Century Austin rom-com series. It is an gender swap modernization of Pride and Prejudice, where Ginny Darcy is our Mr. Darcy and um, Elliot Bennett is our Elizabeth. I love this one. This one's for candy lovers. Uh, this is sort of my thing now. It's, this one is for these people, but this is the one that has been on Patreon 
this they're almost done reading that early exclusive access you can still join us the chapters are all up for you to read anytime you want and if you join now you'll still get the ebook you'll be able to catch up where we are read any bonus content if you have access to it and then uh you'll get the ebook when we're done because it's not going into kindle unlimited at all uh this will be released in january or february and then my next book citation needed is uh, not going as well as I would like. Does it mean that's going poorly? No, uh, it's a great story. I love it. I love it. I love Mason. I love Penny. It's a modernization of persuasion, also a gender swap. So she is our Wentworth. He is our Anne Elliot. Um, they, uh, I basically had to go back to chapter one and restart and just I was I was trying to do too much with it. It's set around editing Wikipedia, the citation needed. If you look at Wikipedia when something needs a little evidence, you'll see citation needed. Um, it was going to be a ba I couldn't get rid of Wikipedia, but I was spending too much time trying to explain Wikipedia and behind the scenes to people. And I think that needed to just go away. It's happening much easier now that I have stopped doing that. But I had to go back to chapter one. It's going to slow me down a little because the next book I should be working on, aside from Harshug, is um, the sequel to this one. The second book in the Enduring series, which I think is going to be called In Search of Spellcaster. Search of Colin Spellcaster in the vein of Help Wanted, old classified ad ways of writing things. Um, I really want to write this one. I'm very excited about getting deeper into this series. This is the series that's been sitting in my head for 30 years. So getting into it is a big, big deal. And then we're gearing up for National Novel Writing Month, which I'm not going to write down because who needs to? That's in November. We'll talk more about that in the October business update. If you stuck around this long for this video, thank you. Um, in the comments, tell me if you've actually read any of my books and which one. And if not, what kind of books you like? Maybe one of my books might interest you. All right, and are you a knitter? If if you are, pick up. Well, if you're into fiber in any way, pick up Sweet. Uh, pick up Unraveling Carrie Woodhouse. Uh, but the links to the Patreon, to the Ream, to the Etsy store, to Amazon, and all the other places you can buy it, they're in the, the description below. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you every Friday in an, for another video. Thanks.